Good morning. Hundreds of thousands of small investors in Vodafone are to get a cash payout this morning. I'll be looking at why and what it could mean for other companies. Costly taxes for businesses need changing to save high street stores, according to a group of MPs. Steph's got more details for us. Morning again. Yes, morning to you. This is uh, business rates. There's quite a lot of debate about it at the moment. Uh, good morning. Yes, the way companies are taxed needs to be radically overhauled, according to the Business Innovation and Skills Committee, who say the system of business rates, which is linked to the value of the premises, is forcing high street stores to close. Now, shareholders in Vodafone are to receive a cash payout this morning of 30 pence a share. That's because the company is selling off its stake in the US mobile phone operator Verizon. Vodafone has more than 100,000 small investors who stand to benefit from it. And Serco, the company which runs things such as prisons, transport services and speed cameras, says its profits fell by almost two thirds in 2013. You remember this was the company back in December uh, which had to agree to repay just under £70 million to the government for overcharging to tag criminals. And that's um, it for me in the business news for now. Thank you very much, sir. See you later. A cash bonanza for hundreds of thousands of small investors in Vodafone this morning. Steph's got more details. Hello. Yes, morning to you both. Great news if your pension is invested in Vodafone, which is probably highly likely. Good morning. Yes, Vodafone announced last year that it was selling a huge part of its business, its stake in the US mobile giant Verizon. It's a deal worth around £80 billion. So what happens to the money? Well, around £50 billion of that goes straight to the shareholders. They'll get around 30 pence back per share. Plus, they'll get some shares in the American business which they can keep or sell. And they're not the only firm with big stock market news this year. All of these businesses have either sold shares to investors recently or are likely to. Well, with me now is Nigel Hibbert from the stockbroker's Quilter Cheviot. Good morning to you. Good morning. Um, so just explain how this works and, and how the shareholders end up getting loads of money. Well, Vodafone had a, uh, has been involved, found itself involved in one of the biggest corporate transactions uh, again, actually. And uh, what's happening is they had a 45% stake in Verizon, which has been a very successful investment for them. Um, and with it being a minority stake, they really either had to look to take over the whole of the company or to, to sell their stake. And Verizon uh, offered them a very attractive price to, to exit. And as you say, an $80 billion, $130 billion transaction. And Vodafone, with this influx of cash, are uh, returning effectively £50 billion pounds worth to shareholders and also retaining some for themselves to invest back into their business and look for opportunities to grow Vodafone that's remaining. And so what type of people are we talking about in terms of the shareholders of Vodafone? It's all of us. It's uh, in every pension fund in the FTSE tracker before the, uh, the, the, the deal has gone through and Vodafone is now a slightly smaller entity. It was 6% of the FTSE. So there's a lot of activity going on in FTSE trackers, uh, realignment there, but it's in every pension fund. Every, nearly all the unit trust managers will hold some Vodafone within there. So it's, uh, it, it affects all of us. It's interesting how many firms we're seeing at the moment come to the stock market. Why now, do you think? It's a positive sign of the environment of, uh, of, of less volatility in markets. Um, it's a good, attractive time for people looking for the right exit that they may not have been able to, felt the time was right. And su the success breeds its own success, seeing a number of the, whether it's the Royal Mail or, or these other flotations getting off to a successful start, creates the environment that is attractive for, for others to come to market and, 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 and raise funds through that means perhaps. So should we be feeling quite positive about all of this then in terms of what it's saying about the overall economy and how our companies are doing? Very much so. It is a positive sign. It is a part, part of the transparency and visibility of markets. You also need to just be slightly aware of the fact that there's a number of different companies and just as you're buying any individual share that why questioning why people are the stake is becoming available now and to check the right the price is right not all of these will get off to a successful start but overall it's a it's a part of the a positive backdrop good well thank you very much for your time this morning Nigel that's it for me for now Jeff thanks very much good morning the way businesses are taxed is being questioned by MPs who think the whole thing needs an overhaul Costly taxes for businesses need changing to save high street stores. That's according to a group of MPs and Steph has got more details. Morning. Morning to you. Yes, business rates are something that firms talk to me a lot about. Good morning. Yes, the way companies are taxed needs to be radically overhauled, says the Business Innovation and Skills Committee. They think that the system of business rates, which is linked to the value of the premises, is forcing high street stores to close. 
Now, shareholders in Vodafone are to receive a cash payout of 30 pence a share. It's because the company is selling off its stake in the US mobile operator Verizon. Now, Vodafone has more than 100,000 small investors who stand to benefit. And Serco, the company which runs things such as prisons, transport services and speed cameras, says its profits fell by almost two-thirds in 2013. Now, back in December, the private security firm agreed to repay just under £70 million to the government for overcharging to tag criminals. And that's it for me on the Business News. Thank you, Steph.